Greetings. Thanks for taking time to watch this pastor's update. It's been a long time since we've done one of these. And you'll notice we're out here on the street behind us, some of the fruit of the hard labor that we've been investing and the expense we've been investing in remodeling the outside of our facility here at Calvary Baptist. We're so grateful for God's provision financially and for those that have labored and help us have helped us get this project underway. And we're excited about the results. I think all of us can see good things happening and you'll see some new landscaping out here in the next few weeks and all of that hopefully will be a blessing to our community and a blessing to our church family as well but we just wanted to take an opportunity to record this video and it's an exciting but busy time of year so we wanted to remind you of some of the things that we're doing as a church family and where you can be and should be involved so one of the things that we mentioned in the members meeting on Sunday was uh, the home groups that we want to start on October 3rd. That's a Tuesday. And we'll be doing those home groups for six weeks in October and just the early part of November uh, to really just give another opportunity for fellowship. That's the main focus, the one anothering that can take place in the body. And of course that can happen anywhere, but uh, we just really want to emphasize that and, and put a lot of effort into that this fall, especially coming off of or really finishing up a First Corinthians series. It seems to be a, a really good time to establish those groups around the one another's. And then we'll see where they go in the future. But uh, we had a great time in the summer and we anticipate another really good time in the fall uh, with these home groups. So watch your email and all the details that can come through announcements and the various ways we do that uh, around Calvary. So we're excited. That's just one of the things though. Yeah, it is just one thing. It's an important endeavor and we are excited about what God might do in our hearts and lives through those weekly gatherings in three different home groups that are spread all over our area on Tuesday nights. Also, we're busy with outreach to college students. God has been kind in bringing a new crop of college age young people to our church family. And so be praying about that and be aware of that. That begins uh, even this Sunday with a special lunch, uh, brunch in the basement. Uh, but Bible studies are starting up. We have ongoing opportunities for Bible study with men and with women. And so watch your emails and look at the bulletin or go online and find out those opportunities, which really happen most of them midweek. And they're great opportunities, not only to fellowship with one another and to experience some of the one another's, but also to dive into God's word. And then we want you to know about Awana because uh, we're always excited about the opportunity to serve families and serve young people and also to pray for volunteers, uh, pray for our volunteers, but also pray for additional volunteers because that's a great ministry of driving children into the Word of God, encouraging them to plant those seeds in their hearts and minds. And so pray for Fern and John Sikich and all of their team for what happens on Wednesday nights. And that begins tomorrow night. So be in prayer for Awana. If we could also ask you just to be thinking about other items of prayer as we go into the fall and really into the future is just as we we think towards uh, the the fall ministries, the leadership around those those opportunities, but also just in the future for leaders uh, that we might invest in and um, continue to do the work of the ministry to pour into a core of leadership to to know how to to replicate and to to own. Uh, the, the ministries that we do um, commit to. And then also, of course, as Michael mentioned, we're going to do a brunch in the basement for the college students this Sunday. But it's not just college, it's college age. So anywhere around 18 to 24 is the, the range we would love to see grow here at Calvary. And just to be praying for the opportunities that we've already had through UCSB Connections and Westmont and uh, City College that God would just continue to, to um, bring us those, those students, um, as well as uh, just continue to pray for where we might go in the future with, with missions and pray for our missionaries. And as we look around the corner to 2024, it's already upon us as we think about next year and, and the budget process that comes up in October, November. Uh, maybe a quick plug on the December 9th members meeting we're already thinking about, but anyway, a lot going on and uh, a lot to pray for, but we are super excited about what we see happening here and God's hand 
in it and ask him to, uh, that he would bless us even still more, that it'd be his will, not ours, uh, going forward. So, One of the things we've seen in 1 Corinthians is the work of the Holy Spirit in the local church. And that's what we really desire to see in deep and real ways for wisdom and for blessing and for ministry to one another. So all of these things we're asking you to pray about, we believe that prayer is important. We believe the Holy Spirit, God is pleased to work through our praying. And so please be in prayer for us. Uh, thanks so much for watching this and we'll see you tomorrow night at some of the ministry opportunities with Awana. If not then, we'll see you on Sunday on the Lord's Day. God bless you.